So state cannabis regulators urge Congress to change hemp and cannabinoid rules through the 2023 Farm Bill. And this is the one that's going to change everything having to do with Delta 8, THCA, THCO, THCP, HHC, all of these alt cannabinoids that we've been used to getting. This is what's going to change all of that. This is the 2023 Farm Bill. We've been working off the 2018 Farm Bill, and now we're about to go to the 2023 Farm Bill, which is going to be very different. Um, these state cannabis regulators are urging Congress to change the hemp and the cannabinoid rules. And if you're thinking, hold up, I thought this would be Congress or the government or the feds who are trying to change these rules because they realized maybe we made a mistake and we legalized cannabis too broadly. And you're thinking, why would the specific states care? Well, think about if a state just opened a legal cannabis program and they're being real selective with the licenses. So maybe they got two dispensaries, quality of those dispensaries sort of sucks and maybe it takes like a really long time to, you know, wait in line and get your stuff. And then you've paid all this money for this weed that just sort of sucks when you could have just bought some online, it would have been fire and they would have just sent it to your door. So these lawmakers in specific states are also like, you know, we don't like any of this. We don't like any of these things that are coming from CBD that we legalized in the 2018 farm bill because now they're such popular products that they have the chance to like interfere with our state markets. This says a group of state regulators is asking Congress to change the laws around hemp and cannabinoids through the forthcoming 2023 farm bill, seeking to adjust the federal definition of the crop and modify rules around hemp derived cannabinoids. The changes are needed, says the Cannabis Regulators Association, or CANRA, who we spoke about on this stream a few times in the recent weeks, because the 2018 Farm Bill, which legalized hemp nationwide, quote, inadvertently resulted in a thriving market for intoxicating cannabinoid products that are included or claim to be included within the definition of hemp. Ooh, throwing shade when they say or claim aim to be included. They're insinuating you guys are breaking the law right now. The 2018 Farm Bill defined hemp as cannabis containing less than 0.3% THC. But so far, federal agencies have failed to establish a robust framework for how to regulate hemp-derived cannabinoids. So they're basically saying, look, 2018 Farm Bill f***ed up in some big ways. We need to change it. There's five main things we need to change about this. Here's what they are. And they're pretty big changes. Number one, add a definition for, quote, hemp-derived cannabinoid products. Number two, define THC in terms of both THCA and Delta-9 THC. So this right here is just clearly saying we have to call THC out by name in this so we can write laws around it. Number three is clarify that 0.3% THC threshold applies only to the plant and a federal regulator to set appropriate thresholds for intermediate or final hemp derived cannabinoid products. So that means somebody from the government is gonna say appropriate thresholds, meaning this is how much of weed you can have in these products for intermediate or final hemp derived cannabinoid products. So they're gonna say, your cart can't have that much, basically. Number four is name a federal regulatory agency with a timeline for implementing regulations to protect consumer safety. This is a good one. We need consumer safety. If there's anything on this list I've seen so far that's good, it's number four. Number five is ensure that states are not preempted from going beyond federal policies, which should set minimum standards to protect consumer safety and public health. Again, number five is a win. And I'm not saying that all of these are bad. I'm just saying like for a lot of people in a lot of places, this is gonna change a lot of things, especially if you've been relying on these products for like years, cause they've been legal for years. But this farm bill, the 2023 farm bill is gonna have big changes. Um, everything that has been legal so far isn't gonna be legal anymore, probably. It says, Canra is also urging lawmakers to identify, authorize, and fund a federal regulator with a public background in health and consumer protection that would regulate cannabinoid products. 
And when we're getting federal, federal regulators in on this to regulate cannabinoid products, this, I just don't feel like this is gonna go in a good way. I don't know about you. I just feel like this isn't gonna be great. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but with the new descheduling of cannabis, that might change everything anyway. So this might not even be that big of a deal. Who knows, this is a weird time. There's a lot going on with weed right now, especially in the laws.